It may be an innovative industry, but in a lot of ways, it's still pretty backwards. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 5 fashion practices that need to die already. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at controversial issues and outdated concepts in the fashion industry that really need to be put behind us. Number 5. Hypersexual Ads Everyone knows the old expression, sex sells, but year after year, the fashion industry continues to push the envelope. Brands large and small have made it common practice to use female models in over-the-top sexual poses and scenarios. It doesn't help that these models are often underage, with some of the most controversial ads featuring actual children posing like adults in full makeup. Even more disturbing is the trend towards using images of violence against women in advertising. Even major brands like Dolce & Gabbana have been accused of running ads that evoke the concept of gang rape and the brutalization of women's bodies. Number 4. Working Conditions Fast fashion has gained even more popularity in recent years, with chains like H&M and Forever 21 dominating sales. However, there is a price to pay for such inexpensive clothing. The working conditions in countries like Bangladesh, where many large chains have their clothing produced, are abysmal. Factory workers, who are primarily women, work long hours in extreme conditions for wages as low as approximately one US dollar a day. In 2013, over a thousand people were killed when a garment factory collapsed in Savar, shedding light onto the dangerous and shameful conditions under which our clothing is produced. We need to recognize that capital is just money. Money is a means, and people should be accountable for how it's used. Number 3. Cultural Appropriation and Lack of Diversity Fashion designers can take inspiration from just about anything in the world around them. When it becomes problematic, however, is when artists from a dominant group take advantage of the cultures of the less privileged by using ideas and designs that inherently belong to those cultures. Appropriation occurs when a style leads to racist generalizations or stereotypes where it originated, but is deemed as high fashion, cool, or funny when the privileged take it for themselves. What makes this an even bigger problem is that often these designs are presented using white models and excluding members of the group that the ideas were taken from. The third eye, the, the third chakra, eye. and spiritual development. And when you wear that at Coachella and you're drinking, you're partying, and you just look at it as a forehead accessory, you're really dismissing the meaning behind it. You're dismissing a whole culture of people. There is still a serious lack of diversity and racial representation both on the runway and in advertising, and that needs to change. When I see people wearing Native American accessories and they don't know the meaning of it, I feel disrespected just because you don't know the meaning of it. Number 2. Fur Though fur went out of fashion for many years, it has recently come back, much to the dismay of animal rights activists. There is no lack of information on the brutal cruelty inherent in the fur industry, but top designers continue to put looks that feature this controversial material on the runway. There are so many great modern options for eco-friendly faux fur designs that it seems surprising that anyone would insist on the real thing, but they do. Fur may be the most contentious issue, but in reality, many animal products like leather are used far more widely. So before you point fingers, check your wardrobe and evaluate whether you equally need to make a change. Number 1. Photoshopping Retouching photographs using digital editing software is common practice for all photographers, but in recent years, extreme photoshopping has become particularly problematic in the fashion industry. Models and actresses have their skin perfected, their features enhanced, and most importantly, their bodies digitally whittled down to an unnatural size. It's bad enough that the models used to sell clothing are far thinner than the national average, but further altering their bodies after the fact establishes a fundamentally unrealistic expectation of what a woman should look like. Body image issues and the rise of eating disorders seem intrinsically linked to these problematic trends. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.